Okay, let's start taking some problems on compound interest. And the first one is where the interest is compounded annually. Okay. If an amount of rupees twenty thousand is invested at compound interest of ten percent per annum for five years. What would be the amount received? Okay, so if an amount of rupees 20,000 is invested. So we know that the formula for calculation of compound interest is that the amount at the end of n number of years is equal to the principal on year 1, 1 plus rate upon 100 to the power n. Okay, I need to calculate this amount. So obviously, I don't know what it is, so I write it at as it is, is equal to principal. Principal is what? It's the initial amount which is invested. So my principal is equal to 20,000. This is the initial amount that was invested by the investor. So I write 20,000 here. Okay. Into 1 plus rate. So what is the rate? Now please note that the rate referred here is an yearly rate. Okay? At compound interest rate of 10% per annum. So again, it is per annum. If it was not per annum, then I would not have taken R at 10. What I would have taken is something I am going to discuss in subsequent problems. So 10 upon 100 to the power n. n is what? n is the number of years for which it is invested. So n is equal to 5 years. I have told that this investment is done for 5 years. To the power 5. Okay. So if I solve this bracket, what do I get? I get 20,000 into 1 plus 10 upon 100. So I can write this one as 100 upon 100 plus 10 upon 100 to the power 5 or this can be written as 110 upon 100 to the power 5 into 20,000. So this 0 gets knocked off here, this 0 goes off here. Okay, so I am left, what I am left with is 2000 into 11 divided by 10 to the power 5. Or 2000 into 11 upon 10. It's actually not 11 upon 10, it's only 11. My mistake. I had reduced all these zeros, so it was 11 to the power 5. 2000 into 11 to the power 5. Or 2000 into 11 into 11 into 11 into 11 into 11. I guess that's a bit difficult. So we can do the calculations aside. But assuming you do these calculation, this will be kind of, we can just club this 2000 into 11 will give me 22,000 into 121 into 121. Okay.
Okay. So as I solve this, what I get is 20,000 into 11 by 10. I mean, once you solve this puzzle, to the power 5. Or we can write this as 20,000 into 11 by 10. One, two, three, four, five times. So I have one, two, three, four, zero. So one, two, three, and four zeros goes off. One, two, three, four, zero goes off. This two can be stripped off. It becomes five. Now, 11 into 11, we know is 121 into 121. I mean, if you simplify this, this will become 11 into 11 into 11 into 11 into 11 by 5. So this 2 can be written as 121. This 2 can be written as 121 into 11 by 5. Okay? And when you do a mathematical calculation for this, what would you get? So you will get 161051 divided by 5. Or if you solve it, basically this comes to 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 0 0.20. So that's how basically you solve it. I mean, these mathematical calculations might be difficult at time, especially when the powers are more. But it's more a calculation method rather than a complication method.